Hi, I'm Olga Hazan, and I'm the author of Weird, The Power of Being an Outsider in an Insider World. My book is about the science of nonconformity, told through the stories of people who are nonconformists of all stripes. I wrote this book in part because I wanted to explore my own unusual origin story. I'm a Russian immigrant who grew up in West Texas. My family immigrated to the States in the late 1980s, at the same time as an influx of other Russian Jews. We initially settled in Los Angeles, but that was too expensive, so when I was four, my dad moved our family to Midland, Texas, which is, perhaps unsurprisingly, much cheaper. If you aren't familiar with that area, it's right near Odessa, Texas, which is where the book Friday Night Lights is set. There were not many Russian Jews in Midland, Texas. It was a heavily evangelical Christian place, and so was the suburb of Dallas that my family moved to when I was in high school. I tried going to youth group for a while, but I didn't really fit in there. I went to a synagogue in Dallas once, but because most Russian Jews are atheists, I didn't really find a home there either. Because my family was just so different from everyone around us, up until college, I was told, directly or indirectly, that I was weird. That got me thinking, why do people consider certain things to be weird? Why do we like to fit in, and why do we dislike people who don't? What is weird, anyway? And if you are weird, how can it benefit you? For the book, I interviewed dozens of experts and read hundreds of psychological studies about rebels, rejects, and other types of nonconformists. I also reached out to three dozen people who are unique in their environments to interview them about what it's like to be weird and how they make the most of it. Among the characters is a man in the overwhelmingly female job of preschool teacher. One of them is a female NASCAR driver. One of them is a Muslim who grew up in a predominantly Christian town. There were several trans people living in places where trans people are rare. Some of them were heretics in their religions, like an Amish woman who escaped her community. In their own ways, they were all fish out of water. In this video series, I'm going to share what I learned about what it means to be different, how to manage the drawbacks of not fitting in, and how to turn your own weirdness into your greatest strength. 